Alright, this is a quick video on my T Max right there. Um, the last few videos, I just made one like 10 minutes ago. Uh, this has been an S Max, pretty much. Um, front wheels, hold on, let me take the body off. I hate these freaking body clips. Oh, here's a little modification I have. I have, um, well, I might have a really crappy camera. I have these things with, um, fishing wire, uh, glued to the middle of the body thing, and the other one so they don't go anywhere. The rear ones were glued on, that big gl glob of super glue, but, um, where's that? There it is. It broke off because I yanked these things off too hard. This thing keeps on going all the way. That one's underneath the body. I tend to lose that a lot, those two, because they just come off. Alright, this is the first model, surprisingly, of the T Max 2.5. First one made. Uh, this thing, everything on it, I've replaced. Like, there's mostly 3.3 stuff on there, like the shock towers and stuff. They're, they're the newer versions. Wheelie bar. 3.3 motor, every, like, a lot of the gears inside the gearbox, uh, replaced all differentials, which I'm kind of mad, I did that, that was like one of the more recent things I've done, and, um, look at this bullcrap, free winning, free spinning wheels, and this one is kind of stiff, but it's like locked up, kind of, not really, it's not locked up, it still goes, but, um, uh, it's kind of, sucks because I replaced that and there that takes like like a whole day like of work time just to replace get in there replace all those gears I've done it to both of this um both ends of this so it it takes for a while most recent thing I've done um put a forward only conversion kit in here um I, when I did replace my differentials, I put these things in, like, upside down. I, I had them flipped over, so the, um, wheels, the whole time, like, the reverse gear was stripping out in my gearbox, like, every time I turned it on, and I'm like, what the F is going on? And so, I took it apart, replaced it, but, and then they're like, yeah, you should just get a forward-only converge kit, and I'm like, okay. So, I did that, got that, and then as soon as I put the forward-only converge kit, it went backwards on me, and I'm like... Seriously, W the F. And so I looked into it, went on the Traxxas website, got underneath the FAQ thing, FAQ, and um, read some stuff. And apparently they were like, yeah, you, if you install your differentials in upside down, which I didn't even know that was like possible. I thought they'd just go in there and you're good. So. I flipped them upside down and then turned it on and I'm like yes it goes forwards and for the longest time I've had this motor it's been running great like I the only reason my differentials like uh, stripped out is because I had an OS point eighteen pretty sure this one's a little bit more powerful but um it wasn't broken in properly it didn't work great um it it just sucked it life it shouldn't I should just like do something to it I don't know but um so I got the 3.3 and then it was just so powerful it like stripped everything out in my truck and I had to get all new stuff I had to get like spur gears and crap like that but um uh yeah so I did all that um the most recent thing I broke was that thing right here look hold on it's this wheel look I can turn my wheel because the tie rod, um, actually no, like, um, axle carrier in there, where the tie rod goes on, whoa, there's a lot of string in there, that's not supposed to be, I'll get that out in a second, um, hmm, let's see, you can't see it, oh, there it is, see, the little axle carrier thing, it attaches, like, somewhere in there, and then, in there, I don't know, it's like this one, huh, like that one attaches there, and there, and this one doesn't move, but this one I occasionally have to move because it's it's not secure. 
And there's my back wheel. Not my front wheels. Front wheels are supposed to do that. Whoa, that's squeaky. Alright, whatever. And this truck has a lot of problems, frequently. Um, another thing is, where is it? My easy start. Um, you can see this in some of my videos. Um, this little thing. This is half of my easy start. Um, it's pretty much the um, circuit board with a piece of plastic running along the top and it's just taped up with electrical tape because what I tried to do you can still see the glue and like residue on it I tried to um glue this right here this was like when my truck was broken so I was like really bored with it so I'm like I'm gonna do some stuff so I did that and I tried to make it a remote start I had a servo glued to it you can see what the servo was it's in there somewhere but um um, I had a servo, you flip the switch, oops, and it hits that, I had those wires, I got a new wire because they, like, broke, and then they ran underneath my gas tank to that, and that's why this is, like, cut off, too, this tip, so it, go, it was, like, down there, and then blah, 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 and then, um, servo would turn on, I had it working for a little while, but that big freaking battery that you need, I had it, like, I think there's still Velcro on it. Yeah, there's Velcro right there. I had it Velcro to my truck, and uh, it weighed it down. Like it, first of all, it fell off every time because it was like a 10-pound battery. Not really 10 pounds, like one pound. I might um, get one of those little control boxes and a lipo battery, and like because they're really light, and you can just sit them like right there if you want. I don't know, it's kind of stupid to some people, but I had an extra, I, now I have two extra channels on my remote, because I, when I got a, um, 2.4 gigahertz controller, which are, which is really nice, there it is, um, I have, now I have this switch open, and this one, but, um, that's what, that was my, um, start, yeah, but I, I ordered, I'm gonna order LEDs so I can drive us at night. Cause the field I have, people are playing lacrosse all the time now, which is really annoying. I used to play lacrosse, so I can't hate on it. But um, they play all day until dark, and it sucks. Like I've learned to hate the sport because of that, and I can hardly drive. It's spring break though. Spring break. Um, I can do whatever I want now because I wake up early and go to the field and have a good time and break my truck <clears throat> so that's I've replaced mostly everything this wire you see me like bending over trying to fix my truck and then turn it on it's this wire right here it needs to be on that little thing right there whoa did I no I didn't I was about to do that without even looking while well, looking at the screen of my camera but uh, yeah it comes off all the time whenever I run my truck it'll vibrate off yeah, uh, new shock towers, wheelie bar, some new shocks, A-arms, I replaced every single A-arm, new servo, this thing's not new, that thing's not new, it's got some cool stickers though, cool antenna because of the 2.4 gigahertz thing, more shock towers, more bumpers that are still left up, yeah, who cares, um, spare gear, air filter, uh, gas tank, differentials, uh, that servo, uh, exhaust, really nice exhaust. I don't even know what kind it is, but it came with my OS motor and it's really nice, so I kept it. Uh, just now, I'm just doing like little tuning and stuff. It's running perfect right now. I've probably just changed myself saying that. My friends are coming over later and we're going to drive our truck, so there's going to be a new video later. So check that out and see. You.